Okay, so uh, Gritty HDR tutorial. So you're gonna get this Gritty HDR tutorial, might say copy.pdf, that's gonna be sent to your desktop. Uh, so essentially this explains what uh, HDR means, high dynamic range, meaning there's gonna be a lot of different um, color sets, values, a lot of the lights and darks are gonna be emphasized. So it's kind of um, a way to turn images a little bit, like give them a little bit different look. Again, when you see them side by side, you'll really get a sense of what it is. So first we wanna open our image. We just went over um, how to find a proper size image. So I found this one using Google search. It's huge, so that'll work perfectly. So what I'm gonna do is open up Photoshop, always checking back to the tutorial. So file open. Um, we're just gonna find, locate our file here. File, open, rock pick, there we go. It should open up. Okay, again, anytime you open up an image, you wanna make sure that it's a proper size. So no matter what the size of yours is, I want you to go to image, image size, and check the image size. Okay, so it's kind of weird. So all these should be checked. And what you wanna do is take the bigger number. In this case, mine is wide. So I'm gonna change that width to 11. Okay, and I'm just gonna double check that I didn't have, okay. Uh, I'm also just going to change the resolution to 150. Okay, hit okay. So it makes it slightly bigger. If it goes really small or really big, you can hit command plus or command minus to zoom in or out. Uh, or uh, control on the PC. Okay, uh, so in the layers tab, if it isn't open, I'll show you again. Uh, some of you are having issues with this where you don't have layers. So if you don't see this layers, it might be down here. Uh, sometimes I like to pull it off to the side. You can always just click on windows and then layers. Okay, also that's the same if for some reason you're missing your tools. So see here, I don't have any tools. That's just because it got unchecked somehow. Um, if you're ever not sure if you're missing something, what you could just do is ask a friend to open up their Windows pane, so you can see here. So that's all good. Um, awesome. So now it says, right click on the layer, select convert to smart image. Okay, so right click, oops. Convert to smart object, perfect, there we go. Um, perfect, so step two, make details more visible with the shadows and highlights tool. So we're gonna to go to image, adjustments, shadow and highlights. Sometimes it's hard to see the numbers I put, but uh, we're just gonna play around. It's not necessarily an exact science. So image adjustments, shadows and highlights. Okay, you're gonna get this come up. Um, if I zoom in a little bit here, I can kind of see 73 and 18. So I'm gonna first play around with that, see how that makes it look. I click on my image 73 and 18 or 22 whatever okay so that's uh, right now I'm not really sure what it makes it look like okay so I can click this on or off and then that'll tell you exactly what it does okay so it makes it a little bit brighter adds a little bit more detail I like it okay now add a halo effect with the unsharp mask filter. Okay, so we go to filter, sharpen, unmask, unsharp mask. Okay. Filter. Sorry. Filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. Filter. Sharpen, unsharp mask. Awesome. Okay, again, try to copy those. Uh, again, you can go minus to see more of the picture here. So try 75-ish, radius 250, way at the top, and the threshold at zero. Okay, hit okay, awesome. Okay, again, if you wanna double check what it's doing, um, you can just click on or off on any of these eyeballs. That will just show you what it is or is not doing. Okay, so we have that one done. Add a black and white adjustment layer. Okay, this one, if you do not do exactly what it says, it will not work. And this is where I see some people make mistakes. So we have to go layer, new adjustment layer, black and white. And then read the rest of the steps. Layer, 
new adjustment layer, black and white, and you're gonna get a pop-up box, but make sure we read. Okay, change the mode of the black and white layer to overlay. This is the important part. So where it says mode, click overlay. There you go. And that's what people don't do. Okay, there. So again, if it doesn't look like mine right now, you've done something wrong, just step back. Remember, you can always hit Command Z or Control Z on a PC to undo what you just did. Okay, um, and it says now you can play around with the settings. So mine didn't pop up like it did here, but what you see is over here it did. So what I wanna do is play around. Every color is gonna be different, right? So it looks for the color range. For example, the reds. There's not a lot of reds in mine, so I'm just gonna kind of play around till I find something I like. Yellows, again, not really much yellow. Greens, no, I can't see any greens. Blues, there's gonna be a lot, so that's gonna be the big one. Again, there really is no right or wrong here. Just kind of experiment with it. Magentas. Okay, so I was just kind of playing around, kind of keeping them all around the middle. Awesome. So create a new layer called green. Again, you have to follow these specific instructions. Here's another one where people don't always follow the instruction and get it wrong sometime. So choose layer, new layer. Layer, new layer. Okay, it says to change it to green. Um, select overlay as the blending mode. So again, another overlay. And check the fill neutral 50% gray right here at the bottom. Okay, uh, again, these are really important to make sure you don't miss those two things. And it should look like this. Lots of times I see people uh, asking for help and it does not look like this. So if it's not gray, it doesn't say green, it's probably incorrect. Okay, we'll go down to the next step, add noise. So uh, filters, noise, add noise. Filter, noise, add noise. Okay, again, uh, check mark monochromatic. So that says 12. See what that does to my image. Monochromatic, perfect. So you can kind of see here, it's really making my image grainy. If I turn this way up, see how grainy it looks. Okay, I don't necessarily want that. I want a little bit. So I'm gonna leave it around 14. That works for my image. Next step, blur the noise. So we're gonna go filter blur, Gaussian blur. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Read what it says, 0.3. So not 4.5, 0.3. Okay, awesome. So that one is very subtle. You won't notice the big difference on that one. Hit okay. Increase the contrast of layers with auto levels. So this is one where we have an upgraded version of Photoshop, so I'm gonna show you how to do this. So image adjustments, auto levels. There's no auto levels anymore, it's just levels. So image adjustments, levels, but there's an auto button. There we go. So if we like it, awesome. If we don't, try playing around with some of this stuff, see what it does. Again, there's not necessarily a right or wrong. I just kinda want you to experiment a bit. Okay, there we go. Even the output levels, see what that does. There we go. Perfect. Um, awesome. And that is totally done. So now what I want to do is I'm going to save this as a different version. So file, save as, because if we hit save, it's going to overwrite our original pick. So I'm going to put two, save it on my desktop. And then I'm also going to say save for web and device. So file, save for web and device. Okay, it's one megabyte. It's huge. Okay, so I'm bringing it near the bottom and it's around 250, that's fine. Okay, it'll still go up. Rock pick two, remember do not save it as the same name as the first one or it will overwrite your image. Okay, I'm gonna go over how to upload it. So my blog, again, here was my previous one. 
what I'll do is I'm actually going to just add it to this post. You would make a new post. Uh, this is assignment number five. Gritty HDR. Okay. I'm just going to hit the spacebar a few times. Oop, not a link. Uh, again, you're going to want to go to the image, which is a little mountain uh, landscape scene. We're going to pick our two JPEGs. So I have mine Rock 1 and Rock 2. And I save them on my desktop, so it'll be really easy for me to find. So there we go. Rock pick 2.jpg, rock pick.jpg. So I'm just going to hit Command, and it'll let me pick those two. And then I can hit Open. It'll pop up. Again, if it doesn't say .jpg, it's not going to work. So don't try to upload the um, PSD. Again, I have no clue who that person is, and I don't care. It doesn't really matter who they are. Okay, I'm going to make large and to the left. Large to the left. Also do this. No, that one is. Okay, perfect. Um, and I'm going to just update it. Yours obviously would be post because I already had mine there. And I'm going to just go to view my blog and I want to just check the difference side by side. This is one of the things I do really like about Blogger, is if you just click on the image, it shows it in a large scale, so you can just move it with your arrows. There's the original, there's my new one. Okay, so two totally different images, right? So one looks a little bit more rock and roll, a little grungy. Awesome. So that's it. That's uh, Gritty HDR.